Now student we are going to discuss question number 7.22 and in this question it is given to you as shown in figure the two sides of a step ladder BA and CA that is given to you are 1.6 meter long clear so uh, we can say length of this BA and CA that is given to you 1.6 meter keep in mind clear and hinge at point A okay fine a rope DE 0.5 meter is tied halfway up clear it means it is given length of this uh, road that is 0.5 meter clear and it is tied at the midpoint of AB clear okay now it is given a weight of 40 kg is suspended from a point F as shown in a figure clear and it is having a position 1.2 meter from B okay so first uh, let us try to mention here all the dimensions clear so it is given in a question i am just telling you this is 1.6 just i am not writing here meter bugger uh, because uh, there are so many parameters here we have to just identify all the given distances clear now it is also given uh, 1.6 meter that's fine a rope de a rope de this is 0 0.5 meter so this is given to you 0 0.5 okay fine clear it is tied at halfway up means we can see this value we have 0 0.8 clear then a weight of 40 kg is suspended that is given to you clear at uh, from a point f 1.2 meter from b clear so from here we can see this point is given to you 1.2 meter clear okay fine assuming the floor is to be frictionless it is given in a question we have to assume this floor frictionless fine and neglecting weight of a ladder find the tension in a rope and force exerted by floor on the ladder clear so first let us try to find uh, I, again if I am drawing here one diagram so what is the different different forces that is acting here listen very carefully clear so if I draw here yes so if I draw here uh, this one this one let's suppose if I draw here a force that is acting so I can say here one force this is acting here that is known as NB clear here we can say one more force this is acting that is NC this force is exerted by ground clear now we can say more force that is acting here uh, definitely here we have one force and that force is the W clear here we can say force that is acting here this is tension force T clear and and more forces that is acting here no so this is all about all the forces clear so now from here we can see uh, can we write here one equation uh, can we write here one equation yes equation we can say you can understand here that is we can write nb plus nc that is given equal to w clear in this question it is given nb plus nc this should be equal to w clear and w it is given to you 40 kilogram so we can say 40 multiply g i can say this is 40 multiply 9.8 clear so now we can say this is equal to 4 multiply 98 so we can say this is 2 we have 3 392 clear so now we can say here we are getting one equation nb plus nc this should be equal to 392 and let's suppose this is equation number one clear you always keep in mind this is also equal to weight clear so weight we have 392 newton clear now if i observe here if i observe here road ac very listen very carefully clear so if i drop here a perpendicular from this side like this clear and i can see this one clear so now what i am taking here i am taking a torque with respect to a clear I am taking here torque, torque with respect to A, clear? Now we can say, we can write like this, uh, let's suppose this is A, C and I am saying, let's suppose this is P, clear? So, now we can say, uh, if I am talking about torque, about point A, we can say NC and its perpendicular distance that is PC, clear? So, NC, perpendicular distance is given to you PC, clear? Now if I am talking about more forces here we have a tension and perpendicular distance if I, if I am talking about perpendicular distance then I can say perpendicular distance uh, for this tension that is given by 
listen carefully so now we can say this is tension t and this perpendicular distance i am saying let's suppose this is q so i can say this is aq clear so uh, we can say minus t clear okay because from the with respect to point a we can say this is anti clockwise direction this one is clockwise direction so tension t and aq and i can say this is equal to zero because we have only these two forces clear and we are actually neglecting uh, mass of this ladder clear so from here we can see nc into pc so can we find here value of pc yes because we can say if this distance is 0.5 listen very carefully now we can say this distance if i am talking about this distance this distance is a uh, half of this distance clear so this distance and we have this distance so definitely we can say pc pc equal to 2 times of qe clear so directly you can say here value of pc we are getting 0.5 meter clear so i can say nc multiply 0.5 minus tension t and aq now can we calculate value of aq yes how we can say this is 1.6 clear and this is 0.8 so definitely if i am talking about right angle triangle aqd i can say this is 0.8 and we can say this is 0.25 so directly we can find out so i can say value of aq this is given by under root of under root of 0.8 whole square we can say this is 0.8 whole square and 0.8 whole square minus i can say this value we have 0.25 whole square 0.25 whole square clear so now you can apply here a, a square minus b square formula a minus b a plus b so a plus b i can say this is 1.05 clear and i can say uh, this is 0.55 clear so if you multiply you can easily get here value of a cube clear and definitely you will get here this is 0.76 clear to everyone so you will definitely get this value 0.76 so i am saying this is 0.76 this should be equal to 0 so from here you can see nc multiply 0.5 this is equal to tension t 0.76 clear everyone so from here can we calculate value of tension yes surely so tension value t this is given by uh, we can say 0.66 and we can say nc clear so this is again a very important equation for us clear yes or no now so uh, i think this is clear to everyone now here i am writing just important parameters here that is required for us i am saying here i am writing whatever yes i am writing here this is nb uh, just a minute yes now you can say actually uh, we have here two equation this is equation number one we have equation number two clear now what is our objective in this question our objective is very clear that we have to calculate tension in a rope it means if we calculate first nc value definitely we can get here value of tension clear and and second point if we uh, calculate here force exerted by flow it means we have to calculate nb and nc value clear so now listen carefully now if i am talking about a ladder that is a b clear i am talking about this ladder i am not uh, rubbing this uh, all these value because all are important for us so if i am talking about a b clear so uh, can we take a torque about point a yes so now listen carefully just i am erasing some part so that uh, we can get all the details here yes mm -mm -mm. just this one clear yes now listen carefully yes now if i am talking about a uh, torque i am taking here torque about point a i can say here i can write like this nb and multiply nb multiply this perpendicular distance this is equal to 0 0.5 clear if i am talking about tension so i can say I am taking minus because this is in a clockwise direction, this is anti clockwise direction. So, tension multiply this AQ. AQ, this is we have calculated 0 0.76. Clear? And here we have one more term that is W. Clear? So, here we can write uh, W. So, W is also in anti clockwise direction. Yes or no? So, I can say minus W into. Clear? This perpendicular distance. Now, very important. 
actually we have here this is 0 0.5 so we can say this is 0 0.5 divided by 4 yes or no so we can see uh, this is 0 0.5 divided by 4 and this should be equal to 0 clear so from here you can write like this and be into 0 0.5 I, this is equal to tension T 0 0.76 plus W 0 0.5 divided by 4. Clear to everyone? Yes or no? So let's suppose I am saying this is equation number 3. Clear? Now listen carefully. First count here number of variables. Number of variables we have. This is NB and NC. We have two variables. Clear? Here we have tension T. Clear? Third variable. W is already known. Clear? We have three variables and we know here three equations clear we know here three equations we know three equations and we have three variables so definitely we can solve here all the values of tension nc and nb clear to everyone so hope you can solve it yes or no it's just a simple calculation nb plus nc equal to 392 nb multiply 0 0.5 this is equal to tension t 0 0.76 plus w 0 0.5 by 4 or we can say tension T, this is given by 0 0.66 times of NC, clear? I am directly writing here all the values. So concentrate here. I am directly writing here all the values, clear? Now listen very carefully. Yes. So if I write here, because our objective here is to calculate NB, NC and tension T. I am writing all the three values, clear? You can easily calculate. So this value we can say NB. NB means normal reaction that is acting at point B. This one is given by 245 Newton. Clear? If I am talking about NC, NC we can say this is equal to 147 Newton and if I am talking about tension T, this is equal to 97 Newton. Clear? So if you solve the all the three equations, definitely you can get these values. Clear to everyone? So this is all about this question. Clear?